We have to think about solutions how to feed the growing world population. And we are running into different challenges. Um, from the fishery sector, uh, we have a 90% fish population that is either overfished or fished at maximum capacity. So we're destroying the marine ecosystem each time someone is going out and catching fish and so you know not, even if you want a sustainable fish how do you ensure that the fishermen and the fish that you get it from didn't harm any other fish along the way that's why we think that fish provided from fish cells, the same as it is uh, when it's coming from fish, is the best solution. It's more efficient, uh, we only produce what is consumed in the end, and it's that way very sustainable. It's comparable to a brewing process where cells are kept in a big tank, very controlled environment, and that way we produced very clean and very healthy food. So we isolate cells from uh, fish, from the cells that we isolate there, they become a cell line. Once we have a cell line, we expand them so then they go into a suspension culture. We start at the shake flask and then we put them into the bioreactor, a stir tank bioreactor like that from Aplicon. This is important for us to mix the cells and um, the cells that are in suspension and there it's very important that we can control all of the conditions that are um, oxygen concentration, the pH value of the media. Also with this we can supply um, the right concentration of nutrients and carbon source and control basically the environment and supply our fish cells with the perfect conditions for growth. We want to learn that the cells can adapt to any stirring environment or the environment that the bioreactor can control. And because the bioreactor has all these uh, sensors incorporated in there, we can also use those automated monitoring technologies to check if the cells are growing, are they happy, are they proliferating, enough and when is the right time to harvest the cells. Scaling is one of the challenges and definitely getting us uh, providing potential solution for us. So providing bioreactors that are very flexible, uh, that can be adopted to our needs and that's something we found very exciting. This is one of the potential paths we can go forward to get the scaling challenge solved. And when we have these large bioreactors working and producing all the cell biomass, we know we can meet the demands of our consumers for the fish ball or the fish finger. So I'm convinced that my children will see this kind of production very differently from what we see it uh, as it is now.